Hey guys, happy Sunday. I think I'm gonna put this on a plate, y'all. I've been kind of relaxing today, and my daughter just left. Um, she bought me some dinner because I really wasn't feeling the best and didn't feel like cooking. So she stopped at this restaurant called Rafferty's and got me something. And I told y'all I had a taste for me, y'all. A ribeye steak. So, this is a ribeye that's cooked medium and a sweet potato. I don't know what kind of toppings this is, but whatever it is today, I'm using. A sweet potato and a house salad. Look like some cinnamon butter or something concoction here. I'll put a little on there. And that's that. And it comes with a salad, y'all. And the salad. Salad comes, they serve it with uh, butter croissant. So, and it's just their house salad it has bacon bits, eggs, it's got the ranch dressing. So, I'll just leave that in the container. Mm. Quite good. And I think they make their own ranch because it, um, there's like onions and stuff in it. The dressing does. Anyway, let me say my grace. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone, Lord, right now, Father God. Bless them also, Lord God, to have a lovely meal and a joyful day, Lord. If they're standing in a need right now, God, Father, meet them at their need. Lord, thank you for the nourishment of our body and all the blessings that you give us. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 And today, y'all, for the drink, I just got me some Arizona Zero Green Tea. And I'm going to pull on up. Pull on up. So how y'all doing this Sunday? How are y'all doing? This fine Sunday. Are y'all cooking today? Or what? Or are you like me and not cooking? And just gonna make do eating out. Or whatever. Mmm. Y'all know I love my salad. Mm. I'm not a real big Rafferty's fan. I do, I will eat there, but my daughter and my brother, they really like it. So I knew that was a nice restaurant I could get a decent meal from on her way over here, so. I didn't want her to have some. Drive out the way. Yeah, I like all cuts of steaks, but I honestly and truly, I could got it medium, y'all. Think ribeye is my favorite. I know. It just seemed like it's the, the right mixture of 
fatty and not so fatty. And they have some kind of honey butter on the croissant. I don't know if you could make it out, but they really good. Mmm. That's so delicious. Look. Those croissants will get you in trouble. I used to order an extra basket of them. They come at five, but I don't do that anymore. Oh. I could make a meal off of the croissant. Yeah. So. I had a subscriber write to me a couple of weeks ago. And I've been mulling this over because I really didn't know how to respond because she's underage. She, um... Is 17 with a baby what her, her and her mother takes care of and I believe if I'm not mistaken the um the child's father is 21 or 22 I can't remember but it's one of the two and she gets um public aid she gets public aid you know, so it's no choice, you know, they they're gonna go after the father for child support. And he says he loves her, but he spends no time with her and the baby. Now the child support has come up. He all of a sudden wants to spend time with the baby. The family feels some type of way. His family does. Because they're thinking that she's going to stop him from seeing the child. I don't know all the dynamics of what's going on with this. And so they're acting funny. And... She don't really know what to do. I thought about this a lot because she's underage, first of all. And her mother is doing a lot for her and the baby. Because, of course, that's her daughter and her grandbaby. I don't know. I can tell you this. Um, I don't know how this relationship came to be with him being an adult man, male, in a relationship with her. But I will say this, I, um, or this is an advice I would give to my own younger self. Like I've said, no parent wants to see their child hurt. So I don't know the circumstances. But my thing right now is you all have to not saying young relationships don't work. But right now and I know it may be hard because you love him and it's easy for me to say sitting on this side of the table but your focus is going to have to get away from being about, about being in a relationship with the baby's father. And him saying he loves you and not spending time with you and, the, you and the baby. Your focus right now is going to have to be 100% on the baby. And on you. You need to take care of yourself at 17 years old and provide yourself with something to look forward to your goals and your future, and you need to start working towards that. While all that said, I don't know if the level of maturity is there yet, but 
Y'all need to come together with you and your mother and his family as well. And figure the best way out that y'all can co-parent for the baby. Because I can tell you, the best thing for this baby, especially if you know his family is not going to hurt your child, and he's not going to hurt your child, he's not going to do nothing but love the child. Don't speak ill of the, you know, of the father. Because for whatever reason, you ended up with the baby. He's here or she's here. And that child is a blessing. And you all may not never be together. But the more child, the more a child has the people that is in their corner and that love them in this world, that helps them to win. And every parent wants their child to win. So, and it may take some time to work through that, to get to that point where the hurt feelings aren't there. And that you can move past, you know, the relationship part. And that's not to say that you all won't be able to be in a relationship. Because who knows? I don't know. But what I do know now is that the focus can't be about you. And you go on the court for, for child support. Don't make the relationship based on child support. I do believe he ought to be on child support, but if he don't ever pay, that's the system. The system will get him. It'll work itself out. But let, you know, let the child have a relationship with the father if at all possible. If at all possible. Like I said, with you being underage, there's a lot more dynamics there than I can even imagine. And relationships are hard. So, but right now, all I can say is try to get along for the baby's sake with him and his side of the family. And getting along doesn't mean that y'all have to be in a relationship together. Just know that the more people that a child has in this life, again, what I say, that loves them, that helps them to win in life. So, that's really the only advice I can give on that matter. Y'all. So, y'all tell me. I've had a few a few conversations, right, with people. And y'all, where I work, I'm far from a millionaire. I work with a lot of executives, directors, and vice presidents of the company. These are million-dollar earners. Not only that, in the building I work in, I work for like in the building that another business is in. It's like investment build businesses, banking, several attorney offices, doctor's office. It just seems to be a building with a lot of wealthy individuals in there. Okay? I'm getting to what my point is, y'all. With that being said, it's like a luxury car lot out there. Range Rovers, Teslas, Mercedes, BMW, Lexus, Acros, Lincolns, you name it. It's out there in the garage and on the lot. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't care what nobody say. My camera is a luxury vehicle to me. Anyway, it's a luxury to me because it gives me the luxury to get to point A to point B. So, I was talking to a couple of people that work there, right? And they say they have these, this, 
these nice cars. They they say that. But then in the next breath, they say that I don't drive my car up here because, you know, people are jealous and innocent. And I'm thinking to myself, why would this? I'm looking out in the, in the, in the, in the car lot, right? In the garage and in the parking lot. And I'm like, yo, all these luxury cars out here, this is like a dog on luxury car lot out here. Who in the heck would be jealous of you? It's just another luxury car here on the lot if you got one. Park it out there next to them. You know, people, they try to mess up your stuff. If they see you got something nice. And I'm thinking to myself, are you talking about somebody like me with a camera or something? I said, because seem like to me, I don't think anybody would care what you're driving. Frankly, I don't care what you're driving because that's your note. I don't know what you're going through to pay it. How you got it or how hard you worked to got it. And so, I recently said to them, one person in particular, I'm like, if God bless me with something, I'm going to drive it. You know you can take care of your stuff and drive it too, you know. And that's whatever you got. Did you buy a car to sit up and look at it? Okay, that makes no sense to me. Actually, Ms. Sugar, ain't nobody thinking about what you're driving up here. At least I know I'm not. I guess I'm just not. I don't cover people material stuff. I try not to cover people things. You don't be saying, oh, that's nice. I might would like to have one, but I'm happy for them. I don't care nothing about that. But I guess it's people out here who care about somebody else getting some and don't care how they work for it. But I'm like, honey, you better dry your car. It's, it's a testimony that God's in the blessing business. That you were faithful. And you pray for that and God bless you with Because God bless you with nice things too. And when somebody says, oh, I wish I could hear that, you say, the same God that blessed me can bless you. I don't know. So, y'all, that's my question. If you blessed to attain something you always wanted, do you just sit and look at it, or do you use it? Thanking God for your blessing. That'll be almost like you live in a house, or getting blessed with a house and not wanting to live in it. But every now and then, because you don't want no people to know that you live in Ballard, you know. It's just crazy to me. I don't know. What do y'all think on that? I mean, you blessed with something and you don't drive it or you don't use it because you think somebody else is worried about what you what you got. And don't get me wrong, I know it's people out here will see a person working hard and they mad about some a person else done worked hard and put the work in half. But I assure you, the same God that blessed them will bless you. You can have faith yourself and, and put in the work to get it. You know. Anyway. I don't know what y'all think about that. I ain't going to eat all this steak. I'm actually full. I'm going to pull from the salad and these young croissants. But anyway, what y'all have for now? Down to that. It's fine Sunday. Is there a reference where you all live? I was going to. My daughter was going over to her sister's house. So, you know, I bought that watermelon yesterday for a dollar fifty. And I told her to take it, just take it on over there to the kids.
and I was gonna send them half of it. But I know how I am. You know. I'm not real big, especially my dogs look. People sending me unopened food and stuff about giving to my kids, you know, even though I know I wasn't going to do nothing to it, I know she don't know me like that. That's her, you know, that's her sister by her father, you know, because, you know, I don't have no kids. My son passed, but. Oh, I told her to take the little children, her nieces and nephews. Her sister has four kids to take them to Watermelon. Let it get cold. It'll be something nice and refreshing for them for a snack. After they be outside playing and carrying on. Because I still love watermelon like that. And I really did as a kid. Get a nice slice of fresh. And y'all, I know I could eat it warm, but room temperature. But I love my watermelon cold, cold. Well, y'all, I ain't going to lie to y'all. This been a month. But I made it, y'all. I said I would do much uploading. And I did. And I actually enjoyed it. But I know it's probably not a sick schedule I can keep. I'll probably try to do it again because the hardest part is I like to answer my comments. Uh, when you work full time and got so much other stuff going on and you cranking out videos, it's so hard to keep up with the comments. And y'all, I'm a couple days behind now, so I try to answer here and there when I can. And I apologize, but I promise I'll do my best to get back to them and try to answer. But I know. I probably ain't gonna be able to continue on this schedule of doing so many and still being able. But y'all could tell me which I'd rather be keep this schedule, keep the videos, and not worry so much about the comments and just get to them like I can when I can, like I've been doing, or or what. Comment below what your thoughts are. That's that sweet potato, y'all. Which was so good. They let that bad boy really bake. Y'all, I'm fool. This, is a, this was a 12-ounce steak. This is how much I got left, which is about half of it. I'll save that till tomorrow, I think, or maybe later on if I'm get hungry. But that was delicious. Probably, if I wouldn't have been drinking, I probably could have eaten all of it. But I really like this green tea. But this is a big can, too, y'all. And I, um, but it's good. So I enjoyed y'all. Thank y'all for joining me today for Sunday dinner. It wasn't homemade, but it was delicious. I want to thank y'all for joining me and you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Do something absolutely fun and joyful. Know that you're loved. I love you, but God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love you much. And see you next week for the weekly word. And some more meals and chats. Bye. Have a good day.